I, I have the racing mind, I have the ego too, all that. But once I learned to master this game, master the concepts, understand what's happening, what is the world made of, what is my mind made of, oh, once I got all of that stuff down pat, it became clear. How to have emotional healing. Emotional healing lies in the unconscious. Your unconscious mind is illogical. So if you do emotional healing, you have to revisit the healing, the hurt part of it, and you have to give that hurt a new meaning. Once you give it a new meaning, the unconscious will accept that new meaning, and then the emotion will fade and will convert it to the new emotion. That's how you do emotional healing. Is it true that if you uh, what is it true that if a negative energy is around you, you can't manifest nothing? No, that's not true. Uh, what is true though? A negative energy around you can slow your manifestation down, or create a lag, or a delay, but it cannot stop you from creating what you want. Oh, I keep lagging. Am I am I lagging? Maybe the internet connection here. See how it works? So, if you want multiple things about practice the feeling of having them, that's correct. How does your body feel when around negative energy? Your body, you'll feel lethargic, you'll feel heavy. Some people may get pressure in their chest, like they feel like they have pressure in their chest. They may get pressure in their throat. They may get uh, an anxious feeling in their gut. Those are all uh, signs that you're around negative energy. When you clear your energies, does it make you manifest faster? Well, not faster efficiently because everything comes in divine timing, but to answer your question, yes, you'll, you'll seem like you manifest a lot faster because you don't have that resistance. Hmm? So... The thing is to understand, though, hmm? wow, so those are not my thoughts from when I'm around them. No, when you're around negative people, you got to understand, guys, a lot of your thoughts that come in, they're not yours. They're from the collective. This thing called the collective subconscious. We pick up thoughts from other individuals. Some people may be thinking something and you may pick it up in your head and you may be thinking it and think it's you. It's not you. So if you ever find yourself around people and you start getting negative thoughts all of a sudden, may not be you, maybe the persons around you. Do you say affirmations outside your thoughts or inside your thoughts? Always do your affirmations speaking out loud. Always, out loud, vocal, where you can hear them. How do you change desperate life when all of what you do first? Okay, to change desperate life is to understand that you don't need it. It'd be fun to have it. That's something you have to develop yourself. You're going to have to just create and don't be needy or attached. Mm. Some comments were filtered to protect the community's what experience. I guess that's TikTok. See how it works? Speak your affirmations when you're doing something that makes you feel amazing. Yep, I agree. Oops. Okay, how do I get back here? Okay, good. I need to let some friends go. Sometimes it gets to that point. There will be people in your life that will come in, they'll try to do stuff to you. You know, when you get to this level, when you start to get into your purpose and you guys are start to do your passion or whatever it is that you want to do, you have to be mindful that there are people that will want to come into your experience and they will want to do all type of stuff for you. And I'll speak about that on another live. But for right now, this is the time I have and I'll catch you guys again in maybe, what's today, Friday? A couple days. Maybe I'll get back on tomorrow. All right, guys, so thank you. And I'll see you again.